Philippians 2, 3 and 5 says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. This is probably one that trips us all up. I'm better than I used to be, but sometimes I still miss it more than I want to. Worrying too much about what other people think. It's a killer. It really is. When you think about it, it just it stifles so much. And then we got so much coming at us today. Uh, and I, I, my heart just really bleeds for the young people today. I mean, I thought it was bad when I was a kid and you had to have Adidas to be anybody. Now you got to have everything. I mean, we didn't have all the iPhones and iPads and the Mac computers and all that. And I'm not against any of that. I own all of that. I'm not against it at all. I'm just saying we, we do always have to keep it in perspective. That's not who you are. Amen. Who you are is who God created you to be. None of this really matters. It, it's, it could be gone like that. It could be off the scene as quick as it came on. I was reading the story yesterday or this morning, maybe. Uh, I was just reading an excerpt from a book. I'd heard someone mention it a while back, and I thought, I think I've read that book. So I was reading the excerpt, and it was from uh, Jim Collins, the, the guy that wrote the book, From Good to Great. It was a business book, and really, really good. But they'd done a, a survey of all these companies that went from good to great. And it was interesting to me. What, what I found so interesting is Circuit City was one of them that went from good to great. Circuit City is no more. They went from good to great to no. That's how quick things can change. Just a few years ago, their, their top list in the book, now they don't, they're gone. This is why we can put faith in Christ. He's here, relevant today. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we put our faith in Him. Not in things, not in people says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress other people. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Humility starts with Jesus. I cannot walk in humility without first walking with him. Part of our DNA as a human being is to be selfish and prideful. It starts when we way little... Sometimes, the, you know, we want it to be daddy or mama, but sometimes the first word is mine. <laughs> we, we're waiting to hear daddy, or if you're a mom, I'm waiting to hear mom, and the little Johnny comes walking in, mine. Why? It's part of our DNA. So how do we become, walk, how do we walk in humility? The only way I know how to walk in humility is to hang out with the one that walked in total humility, Jesus Christ. And I still <laughs> have challenges. But I know this, I don't even have a shot at it without spending time with him. Can't even get close. Not even obtainable. I can have a false humility. We, religion, preach that. Yeah. I can make it look like I'm hu walking in humility. I can let everybody walk all over me. I can do this. But in the inside, I'm spewing venom. And if the wrong person touches me, they're going to get it. Or make myself low to, to make it look like I'm walking in humility. But true hum humility is being submitted to God first and foremost. None of the other matters.